file, in this November 3, 2008, file photo, Republican presidential candidate Senator John McCain, R. Rees, speaks at a rally in Tampa, Florida. Aide says Senator, war hero and GOP presidential candidate McCain died Saturday, August 25, 2018. He was 81. AP photo, Carolyn Castor, file, Washington, memorials and services for Sen. John McCain, who died Saturday after a year-long battle with cancer, are planned for the D.C. area starting Friday. Here's what you need to know about events honoring the late senator. Street closures near the U.S. Capitol will go into effect starting 11 p.m. Thursday until 11 p.m. Saturday. The following streets are closed, East Capitol Street Northeast, SE, from 2nd Street Northeast, SE to 1st Street Northeast, SE 1st Street Northeast, SE, from Constitution Avenue Northeast to Independence Avenue SE Thursday, Joint Base Andrews McCain's body will first arrive around 7.30 p.m. at Joint Base Andrews in Maryland with a ceremony by Armed Forces Body Bearers. This event is not open to the public. Friday, U.S. Capitol The U.S. Capitol will be restricted to only those with congressional credentials starting 7 a.m. Friday, McCain will lie in state at the U.S. Capitol Rotunda starting 11 a.m. McCain's family, colleagues, staff and the public will honor his life and service with a ceremony. Speakers include Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, Speaker of the House Paul Ryan, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer and Vice President Mike Pence, among others. The public may pay their respects after the ceremony between 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. U.S. Capitol Police said in a news release that no flowers, sealed envelopes, or other offerings or token will be allowed into the Capitol or the Visitor Center. Protocol requires that your cell phones and electronic devices be turned off. You will not be allowed to take photos or video in the rotunda. The following items are prohibited at the Capitol and on its grounds. Firearms, explosives, including fireworks, Molotov cocktails, incendiary devices, replica guns and ammunition weapons, including blackjacks, slingshots, sand clubs, sandbags, knuckles, electric stun guns, knives of any size, martial arts weapons or devices, pointed objects, including razors, box cutters, knives, knitting needles, letter openers. Pens and pencils are permitted. Bags bigger than 18 inches wide by 14 inches high by 8 and a half inches deep. Mason pepper spray liquids, including water. Open, empty clear bottles are allowed. Aerosol containers, non-aerosol spray, except prescribed medicines. Sealed envelopes and packages. Saturday, Vietnam Veterans Memorial and Washington National Cathedral There will be a public procession from the U.S. Capital to the Vietnam Veterans Memorial at 8.30 a.m. Before the motorcade goes to the Washington National Cathedral, McCain's widow, Cindy McCain, will lay a ceremonial wreath to honor those who died during the Vietnam War. The public may line up along the procession route on Constitution Avenue. Senator John McCain's body will be carried from the U.S. Capitol to the Vietnam Veterans Memorial on Saturday, September 1, 2018 in a procession. At 10 a.m., there will be a service at the Washington National Cathedral for the Senator's family, friends, colleagues and invited guests. Former Presidents Barack Obama and George W. Bush will speak during the service, along with former Senator Joe Lieberman, New Hampshire Senator Kelly Ayotte, and South Carolina Sen. Lindsey Graham. Here is a full list of what to expect at the service. pallbearers who will help carry the coffin at the cathedral include actor Warren Beatty, former Vice President Joe Biden and former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg, among many others. Sunday, U.S. Naval Academy Chapel and Cemetery, Annapolis McCain's motorcade is scheduled to arrive at 1.45 p.m. at the U.S. Naval Academy. A private ceremony follows at 2 p.m. McCain will be buried on a grassy hill at the U.S. Naval Academy Cemetery in Annapolis, Maryland, right next to a lifelong friend, within earshot of the next generation of midshipmen and within view of the Severn Riverbanks.
McCain selected the out-of-the-way spot over the grandeur and solemnity of Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia, where his father and grandfather, both admirals, are buried, the Associated Press reported. Instead, the decorated Vietnam War veteran, former prisoner of war and six-term senator opted for a front-row position next to his friend Chuck Larson, himself an admiral and ally throughout McCain's life. The Associated Press contributed to this report. Like WTOP on Facebook and follow it top on Twitter to engage in conversation about this article and others. Copyright 2018 WTOP All rights reserved. This website is not intended for users located within the European Economic Area.